What's going on guys? Welcome back to Boat Art Kiko's. This is Josh. What we got going on today is I'm going to give you some tips on do's and don'ts on building a fence. Uh, the most, probably the initial cost is the most expensive cost when it comes to building a fence. You're going to, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay some money because goats cost to keep in and you want to have a good fence system uh, to keep your goats in and I'm gonna tell you what it's expensive so when I first got goats um, what I did was I had a this place had some field fence on it on a little bit of it so I thought you know what I can add a little bit and I can section off a place and I can start having goats I can get the goats here and they can kind of clean up my place and make it look nice. So uh, the first fence I built was horrible. I'm telling you, it was horrible. And I still have it to this day. I'm gonna show you guys. And these are some don'ts. Don't do this when it comes to building fence. So I hate to show you guys this, but this is the honest to God truth right here. This is the first fence I built. Um, I'll show you right now uh, some of the fence that was here on this place and then I added this right here so this was my first fence I built and yes these are not these were not concreted in they're round treated posts that I had somebody give to me and somebody give me the wire and uh, this is what it'll look like if you don't put in a good brace to brace to you're gonna have a lean to it and this fence right here it just rolls it's not tight it's not tight at all it sags and uh, it's just really not a good fence at all and uh, I wanted to get goats here so this was my first fence that I built all right so the first fencing that I went out and bought I went out and bought some it was it was a good brand but it was not made for goats and the reason why I bought that was was to save some money and that was a mistake I bought some bigger it's for cows it's kind of like a field fence it was made by Stay Tough, and Stay Tough is a really good fencing brand. And uh, I didn't put the extra money in it and get the goat wire like I should have. I bought what would hold a cow in, and that was a mistake. Let me show you the fencing that I bought and kind of goat, younger goats can crawl in and out of it. And I'll show you some adjustments that I've had to make so they won't get their head stuck. So this is the fence right here, and you can see that, I mean, it's several inches wide it's tall and uh, a goat can easily stick their head in there and a baby can crawl through there so what i've had to do is i've had to make some adjustments because i made a mistake when i bought when i did my first fence i had to go in here and add some cattle panels down here to kind of break up the gap not so much and that's kind of helped with the goats getting their head stuck in the fence what i did was I cut the corner I tried to save some money and buy a little bit cheaper fence thinking it would work and it was just a mistake it was not good um, I need to really what I need to do is this whole fence row right here this whole cross fence right here it needs to be taken out and a new one needs to be added um, because I skimmed on the price and bought the cheaper fence now this right here this it's probably a I'm gonna say it's about three acre pasture and this was the first pasture that I sectioned off for goats so when I did that and I realized the mistakes that I was making uh, I started to buy the better fence so here was the second pasture that I opened up and I bought goat wire this time you can see it's a red brand goat wire I mean, my fist just barely will fit through there. A goat is not gonna get its head stuck in there. Um, it's really good fencing, it costs a little more, it's well worth it, because you don't have to worry about that goat getting its head stuck. When you pay up and buy the better fence, you don't have to worry about that. So, so you can see in this uh, on this cross fence that's got the good wire on it, I put up a good H brace. These braces are standing up straight. They've been in the ground for about four years now, five years and uh, I put them in concrete they're about two and a half three foot down in the ground they're treated uh, and they it, it holds tight they have not moved at all 
I've got these posts right here, these round treated posts. I've got them in the ground. You can see they're in concrete and uh, they're they're tight. They're they're in there and that's what kind of holds this fence up. What I do is I put a put a top strand barbed wire and then I put another barbed wire right here. That way it can prevent predators from coming over. Uh, on the bottom strand, I'll show you right here. I will go in and put a barbless wire at the bottom. And I'll go ever so often. And you'll see right here, this ring right here. I'll put them rings in there and that'll hold this fence to the ground. You are not going to get that fence up. A predator ain't going to come underneath it and the goat's not going to get underneath it. So doing that helps hold that fence secure. Top wire will help prevent something going over it and then that bottom wire will help keep it stay down. You just buy them little hog clamps, clamp it to your, uh, your goat wire. So on this place, when we got it, it had some field fence on it and I just used that field fence. Um, I used what I had. I didn't put brand new fencing on the perimeter and uh, here's kind of what it looks like. It don't look good, but this is what it is. Uh, here is some old field fence and I've had to come in and use cattle panels to help uh, tighten it up a little bit, help secure some spots that goats could get out of. So let's show you this. So here is an old field fence. You can see, I mean, it's the hole in it's plenty big and you can tell on this fence at spots it's not very high off the ground so what I had to do is I had to come in here and I had to add cattle panels to stiffen this fence up uh, I don't want my goats getting out getting in other people's property so you can see in certain areas where this fence is bad I had to come in and uh, make some adjustments and kind of make it where the goats can't get out what I'm anticipating is I think this tree this old tree right here it's going to eventually fall and when that tree falls I intend on putting a brand new fence up so this fence has been here for a long time um, and I wanted to expand my little three acre when I first started with goats I wanted to expand my pastures so um, I knew that the field fence was there it was going to be okay I just added stuff to it to make it uh, more goat friendly I guess you could say to where it's going to keep the goats in it's going to keep them from going over it don't look the best and it's not perfect but it works here's a spot you can see the fence is up high and good and then you just go right down here and you can tell where it's, the fence is broken it's falling down I've had to make several pieces with panels to kind of fix holes you can see down this whole fence row right here I cut a cattle panel about two and a half foot and stuck it at the top because of how bad this old existing fence was sagging so here's some good things about cattle panels cattle panels are pretty you know they're, they're not too overpriced they're about 16 bucks and you can take that panel and you can automatically have you a fence you can fix a hole you can put up a pretty quick fence and here's what I did with cattle panels across my pond so I got these cattle panels going across this pond right here And it, it works out it works out pretty good so on the back side of my place um, there was just like a five strand barbed wire and I utilized cattle panels to go ahead and put on top of that barbed wire and uh, back here in the back I got about 15 acres and uh, I used some cattle panels and then in other places I used just whatever I could get my hands on field fence uh, goat wire if I had an extra piece and uh, let me show you kind of how cattle panels really will help you out and they work so you can see this right here is just an old barbed wire fence 
and I went in here and I put up cattle panels so I've got the cattle panels on the existing fence when the goats first come on this place it was so grown up you couldn't even walk through here hardly and I'll show you now you can see through here um, there's a lot of room you can move around if I had to replace the fence I've got the room now before you couldn't hardly get through it was it was a job just getting these cattle panels up all right so I'm kind of standing down here in this little little creek bottom and up there is where the fence is up there so here it had the bob wire this is my neighbor's property right over here it had the five strand older bob wire and uh, what I did was I come in here with whatever fencing material I could get a hold of so up here you'll see that there is some goat fence up here this right here is goat wire that little bitty four by four so I took a piece and this is a little crossing area right here I don't know if you can see but I, I took some cattle panels and I cut these cattle panels up and I made it to where the goats couldn't get out of this area right here and you'll see right over here I did the same I'm six foot tall so uh, you can see right here that this fence it's probably eight foot tall as eight foot tall is how high that is and it went straight across but I had to adjust this little valley right here where this water comes down into this little dry creek bed and you can see how I added all these little pieces to keep a goat in so using cattle panels can be very beneficial uh, they can uh, help secure a place where you can't get that fence tight through and and some gullies washouts you can put a cattle panel up all right so I'm out of the low area and uh, me using what I had allowed me to open up more ground for my goats so I knew I had good pastures back here um, and I wanted to get the goats on it so me uh, putting field fence on top of barbed wire um, putting cattle panels up on top of barbed wire that really helped me move along a lot quicker in my fencing process and uh, it allowed me to open up more pastures for my goats so right here is the perimeter fencing and it's barbed wire and again I used what I had here to open up more ground so here's some field fence I bought I think it was about a hundred bucks for a 330 foot row I got this and I put it on top of the barbed wire I would roll it out stretch and then tie it roll it out stretch and tie it it's really tight and then right here is a piece of goat fence goat wire that I used um, that I had an extra part of a roll so I used that all along here I just wanted to do a little walk around my place and show you some of the things that I've done uh, maybe that's something that you could do to yours some things that I would do I would buy goat wire make that investment spend the extra money get the goat wire it's for goats and you don't have to worry about them problems later on down the road when you're building a fence go ahead and uh, put that top strand on put that strand at the bottom get them hog clamps clamp your uh, wire that tight wire to your field fence it'll make sure it don't roll up or something can't go underneath it and the top wire can prevent, can prevent something from coming over it so every new fence on this property it gets goat wire if I build a fence cross fence or if I had to replace a fence I put brand new goat wire on it um, and I learned that lesson the hard way I try to save some money on a different type of fencing that I thought would work and it, it just didn't so I hope that you picked up on something in this video um, maybe it'll help you out when it comes to building your fence I uh, appreciate you guys watching uh, if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel and I hope you learned something if you did great uh, if you learn to not buy a cheaper fence that's awesome that means you're not gonna make the same mistake I made appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one